Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, the Sunspot Solar Observatory in New Mexico has mysteriously shut down indefinitely. This happened on the 6th of September. Welcome to September 11th. It's still closed down. The post office out there has closed as well. And if you go directly to their website, they're going to let you know that they apologize for any inconvenience this may cause you. However, due to unforeseen circumstances, the Sunspot Solar Observatory, including the site, is temporarily closed. Until further notice, thank you for understanding the Sunspot team. You're welcome, and be safe. Now, there are a just there's a library of conspiracies that has already came out on why they closed it down. Now, this is a great article via Paul Seaburn, National Solar Observatory Mysteriously Closed for Security Reasons. I'm going to share with you an excerpt from that article. But this is the location. So the post office is closed, the observatory is closed, and some people have asked, did they find Planet X? Did they find a binary star? Did they find a giant spaceship with laser beams similar to the Death Star that's going to get ready to take out the moon? What did they find? And is that why they shut it down and they're using the post office as some type of maneuvering point? Well, I've got some more news to share with you in a moment that makes me think it's nothing close to that. It's actually something that could be um, security related. And I'll, and I'll share it with you in a moment. But what do I know? I'm a conspiracy theorist. So this is from the article. This is from the National Solar Observatory, mysteriously closed for security reasons. Let me share with you an excerpt. Local ABC station KVIA reported that September 6th, the observatory shut down following, now the following day after the above statement was given by Sherry Lifson, a spokesperson for the Association of Universities for Research and Astronomy, ORA, which operates the facility. As of this writing, KVIA reports there has been no additional information released despite requests by the County Sheriff Benny House, the Otero County Sheriff Benny House, and he gave his own report to the Alamogordo Daily News. The FBI is refusing to tell us what's going on. We've got people up there at Sunspot that requested us to stand by while they evacuated. Nobody would really elaborate on any of the circumstances as to why the FBI were up there. What their purpose was, nobody will say, but for the FBI to get involved that quick and be so secretive about it, there was a lot of stuff going on up there. There was a Black Hawk helicopter a bunch of people around, antennas, and work crews on towers, but nobody would tell us anything. So, I mean, that's pretty intense. You've got Black Hawk helicopter, you've got people with mobile antennas and all this stuff set up for surveillance, work crews on towers, and they're not telling anybody anything, not even the sheriff out there. So, Sunspot is approximately 130 miles away from Roswell, New Mexico. It's about 90 miles away from the White Sands Missile Range. It was established in 1958. So the employees go to Cloudcroft for food and gas oftentimes. That's the closest area to get supplies. And that's off of road 6563. Now, this area is named for the brightest wavelength of hydrogen emission H alpha. This land also at one point was property of the United States Air Force. It's now currently managed by the National Forest Service. The telescope was open to the public on weekends. Now this year, the observatory was taken over by New Mexico State University. Deputy House is uncertain That's who he's dealing with when the FBI called him. This is a quote from the article that's supposedly from Deputy House. They are not federal employees. It may be somebody who threatened one of their workers. If that's the case, why didn't call us and let us deal with it? These guys are regular workers that work for this company I don't know why the FBI would get involved so quick and not tell us anything. Then it goes on to say, after seeing there was no obvious threat, House 
sent his officers back to the station. And then it goes on to say, well, what about the local post office? Why is the post office closed? And then Rod Spurgeon, a spokesman with the USPS, gave this statement. Right now, what we are told is that they have temporarily evacuated the area. We haven't been told why or when that expires. I mean, so, wow, hello, can you say, that's pretty intense. I mean, even the sheriff doesn't know what's going on out there, the law of the land. You've got these mysterious vehicles showing up with antennas, people that are on the towers. So you could say, well, did they, did they spot something? Did they pick something up? Is there some type of operation in that area that's going on? And it could be. I mean, those are all great questions. However, I found another article that came out last year that makes me think this might actually be a security threat for maybe somebody that, I don't know, maybe worked in the area at one point and is upset because they're moving the facility. I don't know. That's just what came into my mind. Because listen to this. Sunspot, the Sacramento Peak Observatory. This is from August 19th, 2017. Alamogordo Daily News. Sunspot Observatory to host Great American Eclipse Viewing. Or, or maybe it's somebody that doesn't want this moved to Boulder, Colorado. I don't know, but listen to this. The Sacramento Peak Observatory, just 16 miles from Cloudcroft, is opening its doors to the public Monday to host a variety of activities in honor of the Great American Eclipse. Activities will start at 9 a.m. with a free guided tour of the Dunn Solar Telescope. After that tour, if there's enough time, staff also plan to take visitors on a guided tour of the museum and the visitor center. Then at 10.30, the projected time, the eclipse will be visible in New Mexico. In New Mexico, Visitors can go outside and enjoy the eclipse through a number of ways. We are going to have a few small telescopes set up with filters on them to view the eclipse, said Mark Klain, site manager for Apache Point Observatory. One of the telescopes will have a hydrogen alpha filter on it, and basically that's cut down, that's cutting down on many of the wavelengths that we get from the sun and gives you a different view of the sun, highlighting certain aspects of solar activity in that narrow wavelength. So then it goes on to say in that article, yeah, right here. All of Monday's activities are free, okay? No, that's not it. He said residents and visitors alike, let me, let me give you the quote. If the weather is clear, this is important, stay with me. If the weather is clear, we will always give you a better view of the sun than the Tularosa Basin because of our attitude, Klain said. But there's a chance that we'll be weathered out, perhaps a little bit more of a chance for us than the basin. He said residents and visitors alike should support Sunspot now more than ever because the National Science Foundation will put out the Sacramento Peak Observatory in October. They're going to pull out of it. So the National Science Foundation will pull out of the Sacramento Peak Observatory in October. Southern New Mexico is losing a community. The town of Sunspot is dying, Klain said. Since I came here in the 80s, Otero County has lost about somewhere around 80 high-paying jobs that brought money in from outside the area in a sunspot. It brought in teachers, scientists, laborers, and all those people lived in Cloudcroft, Alamogordo, and spent their money here. It's a huge economic loss. So this is from the Daily News, Alamogordo. And then it goes on to say NSF is going to completely move their operations from sunspot and other observatories nationwide on October 1st to Boulder, Colorado. NSF is also in the process of building one of the most powerful telescopes in Maui by 2019. So that's why I wondered, especially after reading for security reasons, and then I found this article and then just my mind's thinking, okay, is, is somebody out there upset? Or is, is this some type of military drill? Or maybe they did find something out there. I don't know. These are all things that are just going through my mind. Question everything. Question everything. Wouldn't that be a trip if this place did find 
something. Or maybe, here's another thing too, though, because this is a solar observatory. This is designed specifically to observe, or I mean, this is designed specially for the sun. And with the activity of the sun, very little activity. It's an oxymoron when you think of the name grand solar minimum, but the sun is at a minimum at its peak or close to its peak in a few years. I think it's going to be 2021 is going to be when it's at its peak of this minimum where there's, there's like no activity that's being reported on the sun. So maybe there was some bizarre activity that was picked up and they just had to hush everybody down and just shut everybody up. Or maybe it's a disgruntled ex-employee. Maybe it's somebody around the area that doesn't want, I don't know. Maybe it, what do you think it is? Swamp gas from Yellowstone is also another possibility. Be excellent to each other, everybody. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, youtube.com slash clandestine time. Lord, if you haven't already, just hit that subscribe button. You'll get access to the latest podcasts, the live feeds. Also go to leakproject.com, get access to exclusive content if you want to. There's hundreds of exclusive podcasts there. There's almost 2,000 podcasts there. Uh, and also there's a forums section there if you like to blog. Make sure to check that out. And there's some of these caps now that have just been sent to me from Julian the Architect in the United Kingdom. These are handmade. These actually block up to 30 gigahertz, which is in the 5G range. 30 gigahertz is a very high level frequency. So, and they look cool and they're handmade and they're limited. So be the change you want to see. Bob, you ready yet? Did you make that food out of that 3D printer and stem cells and stuff? I'm kind of scared to try it, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of spooking out.